Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bedtime Stories with Miss Stacy. Tonight I'm going to be reading one of my favorite folktale books, and this book is titled Mrs. Chicken and the Hungry Crocodile. I hope you guys enjoy it as well as I do. One morning, Mrs. Chicken took her bath in a puddle. Cluck, cluck, she said proudly. What a pretty chicken I am. Big, bright eyes, short, smooth beak, but I can't see my wings. This puddle is too small. She walked down to the river to get a better look. She didn't know that Crocodile lay in the river all day long waiting for her dinner. Mrs. Chicken leaned over the water. Hmm, she said, I still can't see my wings. I see scaly green legs and a long mouth with sharp teeth. But where is my beak? Crocodile lay very still and waited. Yum, yum, she thought. That's my dinner. I look different in the river, said Mrs. Chicken. She turned to one side. Crocodile did too. Mrs. Chicken turned to the other side, and so did Crocodile. I like a closer look, said Mrs. Chicken, and she stepped into the river. Snap! Crocodile grabbed Mrs. Chicken foot in her mouth. Boy, said Mrs. Chicken, let go! Crocodile shook her head and she dragged Mrs. Chicken to her house on the island in the middle of the river. Then she slammed the door shut with her tail and opened her mouth and Mrs. Chicken flew up into the rafters. Come down, Crocodile said. I'm going to eat you up. Me? Mrs. Ch Chicken squawked. You can't eat me. Oh, yes, I can, said Crocodile. But, said Mrs. Chicken, you shouldn't eat me. Why not, asked Crocodile. Um, uh, you can't eat me because I'm your sister. Ha, 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 Crocodile laughed. You're not my sister. You have speckled feathers, and I have green skin. You have a beak and I have a mouth with sharp teeth. And these teeth are going to eat you up. No, said Mrs. Chicken. We look different, but we're sisters. I'll prove it to you. Just give me a little time. All right, Crocodile chuckled. I'll fatten you up. The longer I wait, the plumper you'll get. And Crocodile yawned and curled around her eggs, and soon she was snoring. Mrs. Chicken made a nest in the corner opposite Crocodile and settled down to lay her own eggs. Every day, Crocodile gave Mrs. Chicken grain to eat, and every night they fell asleep over their eggs. Mrs. Chicken got fatter and fatter, and Crocodile got thinner and hungrier. One evening, Crocodile said, this is your last meal. Tomorrow will be my big dinner. We'll see, said Mrs. Chicken. And she waited until Crocodile was sleeping. Then she carefully put her eggs next to Crocodile. And she took Crocodile eggs to her own nest. Just before dawn, Crocodile felt something moved beside her. Mrs. Chicken! Mrs. Chicken! She called. Wake up! My babies are hatching. But why do they have those silly little beaks and scrawny little wings? They look like you! My eggs are hatching too, said Mrs. Chicken. Look! And she stepped off her nest. Oh, said Crocodile, what beautiful babies you have. 
What gorgeous green skin. What lovely long mouths. What darlings. Hey, they look like me. And your babies look like me, said Mrs. Chicken. I told you we're sisters and you almost ate me, your own sister. I'm really sorry, Sister Chicken, said Crocodile. I have an idea, said Mrs. Chicken. Since you like my babies so much, you can have them. I'll take your funny looking babies instead. Oh, thank you, thank you, Sister Chicken, said Crocodile. Don't mention it, said Mrs. Chicken. Sisters help one another, and so they switch babies. Time for us to go home now, Mrs. Chicken said. She and her babies climbed onto Crocodile's back, and Crocodile carried them across the river. Bye-bye, sister, Crocodile said. Mrs. Chicken waved her wing and hurried her chickens up the riverbank. See you soon, called Crocodile. No, you won't, said Mrs. Chicken as she disappeared through the trees. Come along, children. Cluck, cluck, come along. And since that day, Mrs. Chicken and her children have never gone near the river, and they always take their baths and puddles. Big enough for us, Mrs. Chicken said, little children, and much too small for crocodiles. And that's the end of our story on this evening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are being safe. Continue to practice social distancing and keeping those hands clean. Good night.